just went ahead and came in off the corner. There's Brown trying to weave his way through. He does, and he's got some running room all the way down to the 40 of Charlotte. First and 10, Clue takes off. Clue off to the races. Hassan Clue inside the 35 yard line. A shoestring tackle saved a touchdown. Coming five right here on third and goal. Clue flush from the pocket again, looking, and he's going to run it. No, he finally throws. It's going to be picked off at the three yard line. And UAB has yet another pick after getting two last week. That's Darius Williams. And that's going to be his second INT of 2017. It's going to be number seven on the season. Ocala, Florida. This is third and seven right now. Clue stands in the pocket. And this one's picked off. Chris Wolbright. The redshirt junior from Brooklyn and a transfer from Fresno City College. You can see him base defense right here. Clue steps into the throw, but Wolbright ends up coming in and jumping the route right there. Great job. Gotten. Blazers take it at the 12 yard line. Early fires, and this is a touchdown. <laughs> Looks like Hayden Pittman, the redshirt freshman out of Spanish Fort, Alabama. I, excuse me for the uh, delayed call, but that number was kind of tough to read. Pittman was wide open right here, streaking right up the middle. Clearly, that was a blown coverage right there. Good attitude. Look for a corner coming off the edge here. Clue feels the pressure. It's going to take off, has the first down, and then some. Inside UAB territory, and he stopped at the 45-yard line. Play action. Pump fake. Early. Flush from the pocket, fires down, and has this man wide open inside the 10 yard line. I watched this play develop from the very beginning. Sidarian Copeland is coming across the middle of the football field, but due to the fact that they got a little bit of pass rush, Erdley had to get out of the pocket. Then he went ahead and did that extra work. This is the stuff that Copeland is so unbelievably good at, is getting open and finding a way to get open. Erdely heads for the end zone, and he has his eighth rushing touchdown here in 2017. So again, balancing it up. Eight pass. 25 yard kick for the redshirt sophomore from 25, and he's good. So he's a six of eight. Okay. Try it again, and uh, from the get go, Clue takes off, and Clue's in the end zone. Right behind his big right guard, too. So Clue uh, finds the end zone with his legs for the sixth time this year. But I think it might have been a little bit of both. <laughs> Back to you guys. Thanks, Michelle. Clue going deep now. Little push by Bostic. Bostic could take it to the house. Bostic at the 10, and he's going to take it to the house for the touchdown. His second touchdown this year. Hassan Clue sat in there nice and tall. He had great protection, stepped through with his throw, led with that front foot, and let his wide receiver do all the work right here. Bostic, talented, got a little separation, maybe away with a little bit of a push, but whatever it takes right now, and you see that they're up on the board again, about the they lost four yard line. Spot. Yeah. Brown running hard up to the midfield stripe, gang tackled by Charlotte, and he still moves the pile. At Stripped Charlotte by comes DeLuca. up with the ball. Stripped by Ben DeLuca. The freshman All-American last year still on his feet. There he goes. DeLuca dropped at the 32-yard line. And this crowd here in Charlotte on homecoming has come to life. Unbelievable. Yeah, Copeland had to come back at the wide receiver position to go ahead and make that tackle. But this is the risk-reward situation you got going on right here. You want to continue to drive. You got your offensive lineman pushing, pushing. But all of a sudden, number 28, Ben DeLuca is at the bottom of that pile. Rips the ball loose right from the framework. Goes ahead and takes it back. Almost gets himself six points. So that's his third force fumble, his second fumble recovery. Uh, didn't even mention Appalachian State. They've got a great football program there as well. Up there in Boone. Here comes Clue. Clue. 
All the way down close to the 10 at about the 11 yard line. He's going to move the chains. It's going to be the 13 and a half. So a 23 and a half yard field goal with six and a half minutes to go. And a chip shot it is uh, for McCauley. He's got a couple of field goals now. Or a couple of extra points and a field goal. He picked up nine, so it's there's a first down on the ground. Plenty to spare up to the uh, 46 yard line. And that, you get another opportunity. It's first down at the one yard line. Brown in the backfield with Erdely. Erdely has his second touchdown. That's that wonderful counter play. They have having a. You can see here they ended up bringing in the defensive lineman to go ahead and come back across the side. And then you got Logan Scott as well coming in number 44 creating a little bit of havoc. Early skates out the backside. Basically the same play right that he scored the first time back in the first half so he's thrown for one and run for two. And Vogel on for the extra point now. Right down the middle of the freeway with the extra points and all the. Clue is going to take off and run. Clue got the first down. He slides at about the 10 yard line. Fourth down. This could be for the ball game. A lot of yard. And they're going to be bringing it from the top side. Clue looks downfield, looks downfield. Is he going to run it? He's got some room. He's got wheels. And he doesn't get the touchdown. That's going to. But he gets the first down. Unbelievable. Did not get it. Did not break the plane. But remember, he can get the first down at about the two yard line for double overtime, or will Charlotte shoot themselves in the foot? Keeper. Looks like we're headed for double overtime. Yep. If they can kick the extra point. So like early clue with a touchdown pass and two rushing touchdowns so they <laughs> matched each other. Well they're following scripts your script at the top of the broadcast as we take another look at the, uh, the touchdown they're going to go for two here in the victory it looks like. Week goes 25 23 UAB over Middle Tennessee can they hold here. Well Charlotte Ooh, we got one on one coverage with Bostic down here at the bottom Benny LeMay little slicker it. and they we go. go. That's, Charlotte wins it. That's right out of the Bears page right there. That's what the Bears won on the other night. And this place is going nuts. They took one right out of the page of the Chicago Bears. And they are erupting down on the sideline right now. That's a great victory for the players. That's a great victory for the players.